<laughs> here I am in Dracula's castle. The lights are up here. What do you want from me? I, I got to do this quick blog. I do it tomorrow morning, but it just happened now, so I want to do it now. Jesus, why don't I get better lighting in here? Jesus, oh, I'm in the house of Frankenstein. <laughs> That's what it looks like. What do you want from me? I'm not a lighting director. Anyway, I just came from my kid's work. What else, camera? I just came from my kid's work. And he works at a yogurt place, a frozen yogurt place, a new fat thing, frozen yogurt. It's like in Philadelphia, with water rice. Nobody knows about how water rice is unless you're from Philadelphia. But here they have frozen yogurt. So many months ago, last summer, he was working at another yogurt store, and he would tell me all the time people come in with their dogs. They walk in with their dogs. I said, who, who? I said, who walks in with their dog? Oh, so many people walk in with their dogs. I said, I don't get it. Who takes a dog into a food place? Do you take your dog into a restaurant? I live in an area where people love dogs. It's a very big dog city where I live. I live in Toronto. Very big dog city. People love dogs. Adore dogs. Can't get enough of dogs. Billion dollar business. Dog business. I have dog. Everyone loves dogs. Great. But who takes a dog into a store? I don't take a dog into the supermarket, the shoe store, the coffee shop. I don't take my dog in. I take my dog for walks. Take him for rides in the car. Take him to the park. Take him to see other dogs. But I don't take him into stores. I don't take him to food stores. I don't take him into restaurants. So, but my kid wants some people come in with their dogs. I said, why don't they know this? Why don't they know they can't have dogs? I don't understand. So now he's working at a new uh, yogurt store, another frozen yogurt store he's working at. Great. So he tells me, Dave, pick me up at 8 o'clock. At sharp 8 o'clock, you got to be there at 8 o'clock. You got to get me 8 o'clock. Maybe he wants to watch The Bachelorette. I don't know why I have to pick up at 8 o'clock. I said, okay, fine, pick up at 8 o'clock. So I go there. It's a fun place. It's fun. It's a party. I'm going to hang out there tomorrow night. I, I miss it. On Saturday, they had parties. And Jared also works at Jared's. The, the mascot when he works there. It's a fun place to be. This, this yogurt, frozen yogurt place. It's fun. So I parked a few uh, cars up, and I figured Lauren's not going to see me. I'm with the dog. I didn't take my phone with me. So I had the dog with me, my dog. So I put him on the leash, and I walk him to the front of the store. I don't go in the store, because why would I take my dog? I don't take my dog in any store. It's dumb. But I'm outside the store, so we can see me in the window that I'm here. So I'm outside, and, and people are walking back and forth with dogs, and they see my dog, and they want to touch the dog, pet the dog, feel the dog, whatever the hell they're doing. They're talking to me, talking to me. Very nice. I'm so distracted by so many people going back and forth, back and forth. And some lady's about to go into the store, and some lady who's about to go into the store says, uh, Excuse me, but your dog just did that. And she's pointing to the ground. And I, I said, What? What? Did, did what? Oh, that. He just did that. That's what she said. She just did that. And she points. And I look, and there's shit in the ground. So I said, Oh, I said, My dog just did that? She said, oh, yeah, he just did that. Now, did my dog really do that? I don't know. Was the shit already there? I don't know. There's so many dogs walking back and forth. I don't know. I, I was distracted by so many people saying, Hello, Dave, and dogs, and what kind of dog do you have? And what I don't know what the hell is going on. But for some reason, this lady is has her eyes focused on my dog. I don't know what the hell my dog's doing, but this lady knows what my dog's doing. I don't even know my dog shed shit there. This lady knows my dog shit there. 20 dogs going back and forth. Only my dog took a shit right there on the ground next to me. And that lady happened to take notice, and that lady was very important to point it out to me that my dog just shit there. Very, very important. She's going in to get yogurt. That wasn't as important as my dog shitting on the ground. That's more important than her getting her yogurt. The lady should drop dead with her yogurt. Anyway, so the lady says, yeah, he just sit that shit there. I said, oh my God, I can't believe it. Can you do me a favor and bring out some napkins for me, please? <laughs> That's what I told her. I told her. I didn't say, before you get your yogurt, can you bring me the napkins? But I did say, can you go in there and get me some napkins? Because I didn't have any napkins on me. I didn't have Kleenex on me. I wasn't taking my dog for a walk. I just took him to, to the front of the store. I waved to Lauren. Lauren, I'm here. That's what I was doing. I was going to walk back to the car so he knows that I'm here. So I wasn't planning my dog shitting on the ground. He doesn't shit on the ground anyway. He shits in the park. He shits in the, on the grass. He shits on my house. I got chocolate land in front of my house. Right in front of my house, I got chocolate land. So it's all over the house. Chocolate land. So the lady said, oh, yeah, he, he did that. She put it out. I figured, well, she's so concerned my dog shitting on the ground. She can help pick it up. So when I said to her, could you go in and get me napkins in the store, please? Well, when I said that, you should have seen the look on her face. She looked at me like, she didn't say anything. She said, oh, yeah, sure, I'll go. I said, could you help me get the napkins in, in the, the, so I could pick it up? And she looked at me like, she didn't know what to say. She looked, she didn't know what to say. And she said, sure, okay. After she had a look, a dumbfounded look, and she didn't know what to say, she went in the store. Then 25 more people like, hiya, Dave, hiya, Dave, and the dog, they're all talking to me. And then she came out with, with the napkins. I said, oh, thank you very much. It's very kind of me. I couldn't give a shit. The dog gave a shit. I couldn't give a shit whether she came out with the napkins or not because I don't know if it was my dog shit or not. For some reason, this lady knows it's my dog shit. I don't know if it's my dog shit. I don't know how my dog shit looks like. I never look at the shit. I never look at my own shit. So this lady was so concerned and I thought to myself, if she were to say to me, I'm not going to get your napkins. Why don't you have your own napkins? 
my next comment, but I I didn't need to use this as ammunition, was, well, it's so nice of you to point out that my dog shit in the floor. I appreciate your concern. So could you help me pick it up? Because people, I was telling Lauren, she couldn't care less about the shit. What was more important is the psychological ego of her telling me what to do. Like when I tell my business partner, David Jack, he hates it. He hates it. He hates when I delegate to him. He hates when I tell him, take Google AdSense and put it on my websites. If I tell him to do that, he won't do it. The fact that I told him to do it, he won't do it. People have an ego like that. So this lady's ego, she didn't give a shit about the shit on the floor. She only wanted to point out to me that the dog shit there because... They're all rich Jews where I live in this area. And it's very important they have lots of money. I'm not going to tell you what to do. What the hell do they care? What do, you, what do they care? i got enough going on. So when I said to the lady, oh, could you please help me? She should go, oh, absolutely. Sure. But she didn't say that. As soon as I asked her to help me, she gave me a look like, you're asking me to help to get you nothing. It's like Jackie Mason. It's like when I put a, 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 um, a Kleenex into a trash can. And if I go to put it and it falls out, I don't know what falls out. And I'm walking by, somebody will say, excuse me, you dropped that. What the hell do they care about? If they were so concerned that I dropped that, why don't they go pick it up? They say, why should I pick it up? It's yours. Well, if they're, if they're really concerned about the trash on the floor, who cares who it is? They're concerned about the trash on the floor, they would pick it up. But they're not concerned about the trash on the floor. They're concerned to tell me that I, to tell me, a stranger, could you pick that up? Because it's all a psychological ego bullshit thing. So when that happens, I say, oh, could you please pick that up for me? Because I, I got a terrible back. I, I can't bend. And they say, I'm not picking it up. Well, then why'd they point it out? Because they don't care that it's there. They only care to tell you because of their bullshit ego. So the lady goes in. She gives me the napkins. I pick up the shit. Now I'm walking around the shit. I'm thinking, where can I throw this shit? Now that there's a can there from all the your frozen yogurt from the store. But I, think, I can't put it in there because this shit's not for that thing. So now I'm looking for a trash can. I see bags of grass and other people's houses. I can't throw it there. So I'm going this back alley. I see boxes. I don't know where the hell I can throw this shit. I'm walking around with shit in my hand now because of the crazy lady. And then I see one of Andrea's girlfriends in the store there. And then I see other people walking back and forth with dogs, back and forth with dogs. And then Lauren finally comes down. Lauren says, here, he finds a trash can. I throw this shit in there. And he tells me, somebody just walked in with their dog. <laughs> I said, who walked in with the dog? He said, somebody walked in with the dog. And Lauren said, excuse me, sir, you can't have the dog here. And the customer said, huh? I said, is that what the customer said? Yeah, he said, huh? <laughs> I said, Lauren said, uh, if he said, excuse me, I didn't hear what you said. I would re respond correctly, but he went and said, ha! Lawrence said, I didn't know he was a caveman. I would have banged him the floor. Lawrence, funny. That's already funny comments. So Lawrence said, y you can't have the dog here. And the guy said, why not? <laughs> he said, why not? And then another clerk that works at the frozen yogurt store said, because it's a dog. Now, why does he think you can bring I, the dog in here? I don't get it. I don't. And I have to do with being rich Jews or Jewish. It has nothing to do with religion or you have money. Or maybe it does. I don't know. Because I don't get it. Well, who takes a dog into a store? I take my dog for rides in the car. I don't take him when I go to the mall, sit in the car for an hour and a half to I go to the super. I don't do that. I, I, who wants to do that? I got a kid. I want to leave my kid in the car. My kid's like a, my dog's like a kid. So who takes a dog? I'll take my kid to the store, but the kid's a human being. Who takes a dog in a food store? And then another thing, and people, Lauren also told me the story that People tie up their dog outside of this frozen yogurt store. There's lots, there's lots of dogs out there. And, and somebody, I guess, had the dog tied up outside of this frozen yogurt store. It's tied outside, but it's right by the entrance. And some lady comes in and says, You got that dog in the store? I wish that lady was there today when some other dog in the store. So I says, You got that dog in the store? And Lauren said, The dog's not in the store. That dog's right there in the store! Get that dog out of the store! <laughs> and Lauren said, But the dog's tied up. is outside. It's by the entrance of the store. I'm going, I'll call the health inspector! <laughs> I said, What the hell does this lady care? What did this dog, what did she came there for yogurt? Get the yogurt and get the hell out. People are nuts. And that's the whole point of this blog that I wanted to do today. And I want to tell you something else too, but I had to tell you about this lady telling me to pick up the shit. I wanted to tell you another blog, but I can't remember, so I'll make it real short. Go to davestvempire.wordpress.com. If you like a lot of cash, these 19-year-old college dropouts are making a fortune, and I got the business models to make us a lot of money. And I'm putting teams together for the new Bronstein Empire. So your success is up to you. If you want to take advantage of your knowledge... I need business partners, project managers, video promoters, web guys, eBay pros. I got a lot going on. I got TV product guys, and I got chat girls, and I got the uh, 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 Shark Tank type of TV product suppliers. It's all on Dave's TV Empire. Even I don't know what the hell is going on. But if you like cash, then get in touch with me because now we are building the empire and selling for $10 billion. Like Facebook bought Instagram for $100 billion. A company with 12 kids don't make any money. Get in touch with me, Dave's TV Empire at WordPress.com. Let's make a lot of cash together. And if you see my dog shitting the floor... Go walk the other way. It's not your dog. Goodbye!